Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Attingham Park. Now, you may be wondering why I'm in a sugar beet harvester in an empty field. That's because I decided to take a contract. We didn't really have anything to do, but we've done enough contracts recently. So I took this contract. It is now completed. What that means is everything we've got in this harvester and this trailer is actually for us. But we're not going to sell it because I came up with a cunning plan. So we're going to get this emptied into here. Yeah. Get it all put in. And obviously I'm not going to complete the contract just yet. I wanted to buy cows today, but I couldn't. The reason is if we do a quick jump over to our field. I did a test with the grass that's in here because I've got the grazing mod turned on and unfortunately this grass was not being eaten so I have painted grass everywhere. This I believe should work but for it to work I need to let it grow so we can't do anything today. Now if we head over here to the biogas plant I am recording this video before the next video goes out so you will have already been screaming at your screens telling me what I was doing wrong, why I couldn't work out why I was getting money, uh, wasn't getting money at midnight. I watched a video from Mr. CDP and he had the exact same drama, he couldn't work out what was going on, and then he discovered you get paid hourly. So we have been getting paid hourly, as expected, and I'm sure all of you knew. So, so far today we've made 2800. So I've obviously been putting more into here just to keep it going. Uh, we don't need to put any more in for a little while now, so back him off. There we go. Still haven't set my joystick up, so I'll just leave him by there. So we've now got plenty in here, but what I really thought was sugar beet contract. Okay, cool. We can use the leftovers as sugar beet cut and put it into here. So. That is exactly what we're going to do. Um, so I'm going to bring the trailer with the sugar beet over because what we need to do after that is we need to get ourselves a little tool. Um, so I'm going to have to go and pick that up. I just need to find it in here. Uh, is it a front loader tool? That's a silage cutter. I need to find this magical, it's a telehandler. There should be somewhere a sugar beet cutter. I just have to find it. Uh, is it in misc, maybe? I have absolutely no idea where this thing is supposed to be. So maybe I need to go and have a quick look and see if I can find it. But yeah, I'll be back in a minute with the trailer and with the sugar beet cutter. All right, here we are with the trailer. Now we are expecting rain, so I actually need to be um, a little bit quick about how I do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing around. Uh, where's the best place for me to turn? This guy, I have to say, it, it's an incredibly underpowered tractor they gave me for the size of the trailer. But he's got a really awesome turning circle. So I'll just swing around. <clears throat> and then I'm hoping I can just back in over there. This should do it. Perfect. Yeah, I can back over there and I can use the loader. Now I've leased those, uh, those tools and I say tools because the, um, the cutter is for front loaders. So what I've had to do is get an adapter which isn't a big problem. But yes, we've needed an adapter so that we can actually do this job. So, I'm going to park him just in here so that the trailer sticks out. Oops, wrong way. I will do a better job of actually parking him because this is quite horrific. It seems I've forgotten how to drive. That is good enough. So if we quickly head over to here, we can grab this guy. Turn him on. 
So we can see we've got a front loader tool that we can turn on. So that is exactly what we're going to do. We'll turn him on. So we'll fill him up first, I guess. Makes sense. Now we can turn him on. Oh no, we don't want to turn him on by there. Okay. So if we turn him on by there, he starts dumping it on the ground. We don't want that. <coughs> so I know we could put some straight into the processor. But I want to first put it into here. Oops, hold on. Okay, that's better now. So, pop him in, and there we go. We are now shredding the beat. Very nice. It's not actually a very quick process, though. Okay. Let's just double check. Good. That was what I wanted to make sure that we weren't going to still be picking up. Uh, whatever it's called. We weren't still turned on. <coughs> That's what I mean. There we go. So, second load. Luckily, there wasn't too much here. Enough to keep the processor going for a few days, I think. Maybe even longer. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is quite a heavy load. It appears. So, in it goes. Now, I'm going to do the second one off camera because I need a screenshot. This is going to be the thumbnail for today. So I will uh, grab the next load off camera and I'll be back so we can continue. So I've got a nice thumbnail and we've got the next load. Way, 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 whoa. That's a little dangerous. Obviously, this is something that shouldn't be done in such a high trailer, it seems. Or, I should put a weight on the back, but I don't think I can. I have not seen weights for this yet. That's another load. This is dropping, but it is taking a little bit of time to do so. And what I'll do is the last two loads I'll put straight into the processor rather than pulling them into here, tipping them onto the floor, because these are actually going to have to stay on the floor. I'm going to have to clear room out in that shed so I can put all of this in. Now I'm wondering if it's a one-to-one -one ratio as well. Um, I'm not really sure. I suppose we'll find out. If we put this load into the shed, into the, uh, not the shed, the other one, if we put this load straight into the processor, and we can find out. So this is 2302. Let's see if we end up with 2302 exactly. Pop them in. And then next time, that grass should be grown. We have silage, but we can't feed silage to the carriers. We have to feed um, TMR. So next time, the grass should be grown and we can start doing that. Now, in we go. So we're putting 2302 in, and let's just have a quick look now, we have put in 2300, so yes, it is a one-to-one -one ratio, but this now means if we head round here, we've now got sugar beet cut that is also running at the exact same time, so we're now going to be getting extra money, getting money from two sources at once. Now from the sugar beet is going to be much less because the sugar beet um, processes much more slowly. If we come here, so silage is going to process 24 per month, so 12 per day, I guess that means. Um, and it's going to do 840 litres will give us 756 and 1. And that's the stuff we're being paid for. Here, we still do 24, but it only processes 100 per time and gives us 90 in one. So the sugar beet will last longer, I think, but it will take, uh, it will give us less money. But I don't mind that. So we can put this load into the processor as well. I am gonna need to pick up that sugar beet, the, the cut sugar beet that's on the floor. That will have to be picked up. 
we'll put as much as we can in here, and then the rest will have to go into the truck. So that is now the processor full. So I'm going to stick this into the truck. Come on. Perfect. Now I would like to actually sell some signage. That's because I think we have money but we also have a hell of a lot of silage here so we should kind of make the most of that and actually um, sell some get ourselves the actual income because I'm pretty certain if we sell it properly the way we would normally do it in the game we will end up with money either at midnight but I, I think not at midnight I think we'll end up getting it as we do it. Whoa. This guy is wobbling all over the place. Can we grab it all? Oh, so close. Alright, tiny bit left there. Now I don't know if this has actually got a larger capacity than our bucket. I think not. I think our bucket is 2,500 litres. Let's have a quick look. Where is our tools? Or where are our tools, I should say. Uh, so, front loader tools, no, telehandler tools. 2,640, okay, so we should, we should really use our own bucket uh, for, the, for the job of uh, putting the silage in there. But I think we can use this trailer. So we can use this trailer to make a delivery. Which is good, because this is a 40,000 litre capacity trailer. Now unfortunately, what that will mean is I'm going to have to spend some time loading up, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, so, let's quickly just turn him off. Really, I should have just gone out the tractor, but I'm lazy. So, let's head over here. And we can grab... We can attach our mower. Grab the other mower as well. Just gonna have to leave these out. But I think it's okay. We can do that. They are mowers, they're outdoor equipment, so not too worried about leaving them outdoors. Just have to make sure I can turn here. There we go. Full lock. Perfect. And we'll just pop them here next to where the car currently is. This guy here as well. Perfect. So I'll drop him off. Oh, I've got to lower it first. Sorry, sorry. There we go. So turn him off and let's get over to the Kubota where we can now tip this stuff. Into the shed. So we're 14,837. That's good because that means whenever we need it, we can now top up the BGA and keep it running. And this, of course, was free because we didn't have to plant anything to get it. We could have made some money if we'd sold it, but it wasn't really worth it for the amount that was left over. 
yes, we need cash, but do we really need cash so badly that we're going to sacrifice money from the BGA instead? I don't think so. So get that wall tipped in, keep it at the back as much as we can. Whoa, hit the roof of the trailer. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, because you've just watched me loading up all of the sugar beet, I'm not gonna make you watch me loading up all of the silage. I am gonna very quickly do that, get this trailer completely full of silage, and we will go and sell it. Look at these awesome strobes, they're so cool. So, we're full, we've got 40,000 litres, and where, oh where, should we take this to? Okay, now this is something I'm still confused about. If you guys know where I can actually sell this stuff, I'd love to know, because this is showing that my biogas plant, the one which I own, I think, is paying 300. Is that right? Is there a second biogas plant? Is that why I'm being stupid? I don't think there is. I'm pretty sure, uh, if we go back here and tag that, yeah, see, it flashes up our one, which makes no sense. That's a liquid silo, that's the sweet potato, that is livestock barn, wood chips, indoor market, British grain, county stores, this is Holland's village shop, uh, that's the dairy silo. Yeah, I don't get it. Where, where, or where? Great processing, lower cost dairy, Sunrise Bakery. I cannot find this extra biogas plant. So the only place it's showing up is my biogas plant, and I'm not getting paid for dropping stuff off there. I'm getting paid per hour. So anyway, we're gonna have to go to Atcham Livestock Bales, which is just up here. So. <clears throat> It's near, oh, it's it's actually, it's where we buy our animals from. So yeah, we'll head over there. And this tractor, as I said before, he is underpowered. It's a little bit strange. Um, they gave me a tractor that's 200 horsepower for a 40,000 litre trailer. I know if I've had the, uh, the fill limit turned on, it would behave a bit better, but this is very heavy, very heavy indeed. But yes, I really like those strokes, they're very cool. Now, is this actually the best way out? I didn't check. Yes, it is. Good. Good. So we'll travel over to the Atch Atcham, I think it, it was called. Atcham Livestock Bales. And we can sell this. We're not going to get much. I think it said 130 per 40,000 litres. So that's going to be about 4,000. We want to go this way, yes. I should have used indicators, but I didn't. Pretty sure we want to go this way. Yeah, we do. Good. Whew. And once we've done this, ah, there we go. Once we've done this, we can actually return all of the equipment and collect our 16,000, which is good because the last thing we need to do today is a little bit of prep work for getting the cows tomorrow. We'll do the rest of it tomorrow. I want to buy a water trailer today so that we are ready because if that grass is growing the only thing we need to give them is water because they will take grass directly from the field so yeah just need to get ourselves a water trailer and then we are ready to rock and roll with those cows of course we need to do other things so we need to make hay we need to make TMR all of these things are going to cost us money but we will get some money from the cows, especially because they will breed. We're going to buy the adult cows. I think we will not buy any young. Um, not yet, anyway, because we want the milk from the cows. So it's just not worth it for us to only to, to take the young ones, because we won't get any milk and we won't get any babies. Yes, they're cheaper, but we need to make money. We've only got five years to do this, so we need to maximise our our income. 
we go. So, how much are we going to get for a full trailer load? Really, not going to be impressive. Don't worry. Uh, trailer's got stuck. Twelve, four, six, eight. Oh, that's better than I thought, actually. Oh, three hundred and eleven. Why did I think it said a hundred? Okay. That's actually better than the biogas plant, then. So that was a very good deal. Right, let's tab over here, because I think we can use... Ooh, I'm stuck. I think we can use this to tow the water trailer, but I'm not sure. Uh, so, what do we need to do? We need to complete the contract, so we can get our money. There we go, very nice. 15887 in total. Awesome. And we're now at 60,000. And we need to buy ourselves a water trailer. We're going to take this one. It is small, but I think it'll be good. And we can tow it with our tractor. Uh, our truck, sorry. Now, what do we want? We want grey, black, or chrome. Ah, these are the... These are the rims. So grey and black cost nothing. Chrome cost 2,000. I think I like the black on there, actually. So let's buy that. And I will quickly go and pick this up. We are arriving at the shop. Ready to pick up our lovely tanker. So, like I said, this is a... Uh, what's it called? A, a, I just call it a ball joint. I think it's got is it a bull nose joint. Something like that. But yes, this is the type of thing that I can tow. And it has no pipes. That's good. Uh, so, we need to find a water source. I know there is the fishing place. Do we have a water source around us? I don't think we do. So, if we look on the map for water. Oops. There should be... Yes, here. We've got the lake and the fishing point. Uh, in fact, oops. Why is this not moving? It's not behaving itself. So there is one at the back of the sheep as well. But I think we'll go here. So we'll tag it. Because we haven't actually visited this place yet anyway. So I think it would be nice to visit the, uh, visit the area. This tank is actually very well suited to this car, to this landing. Uh, I like it. It looks very good. Especially with the black rims, because I went with uh, <coughs> a slightly off black. It's matte black and satin black mixed together. So yeah, it's, uh, it's looking, looking pretty cool. Uh, I did return all of the front load equipment, by the way, so we don't have any of the sugar beet cutting stuff anymore. And we are coming up to the fishing club now. It's going to be on our left very soon. And I noticed it when I was doing the sugar beet harvest that there's um, a place. Yeah. Um, and it's marked with an exclamation mark, so I'm not quite sure what that means, to be honest. I think it's like a point of interest. But we will find out now, because we are here at Action Fishing Club. So, is there anything around here to look at? Or is it just a case of, this is the perfect place for you to go fishing and fill up your machines? I don't know. A couple of different tents. There's no um, collectibles on this map, as far as I'm aware. So, I think it's just... Yeah, it's just a, a place for people to come fishing and for people like me to come with trailers to fill up machines. Which is pretty handy. They probably don't want me to do this, driving through their lovely area where they've got their fish, but I'm going to anyway. So, should be able to fill them up. Refill mobile water tank, perfect. And it's costing us diddly squat. That's what I like. So, let's now... Ooh, really? 
Are we completely stuck? Do not drive too deeply in the water. Okay, I'm trying not to. Having to super strength it out, because apparently that was not a smart idea. So, this guy can pull it, but he will struggle to get him out of a bank like that. Good to know. So now, we'll quickly get back to the farm, and uh, I think we'll finish up there. Here we are then. So we'll take uh, the trailer around to the back. <coughs> I have noticed that the the uh, the car is much slower um, when it's filled, which makes sense. That's some good realistic physics there. So I think we'll just leave him by here. There's no need to go driving everywhere. And then that will be us. So. Thank you very much for watching everyone, and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.